Hi, I'm Anish Thomas Jacob, working in Christian Fellowship Hospital in the Department of Family Medicine and Palliative Care. I would like to talk about palliative care. I don't know how many of you have heard about that speciality. It is a special speciality, I would say, where we take care of patients who are terminally ill or patients who are bedridden forever. Many times we forget such kind of patients because we know that they don't have any hope. So this speciality gives a kind of a care to such patients. We may not improve the quantity of life, but we might improve the quality of life with a special touch. It may not be very expensive, but it is so effective and is cost effective and it is, has a special touch. Such is the service of palliative care. And it is a great need in our nation. As you all know, it requires a lot of money, a lot of service oriented people who would do this. So one of our palliative patient, care patient was Mr. Ponner. First, we met him at his home. He was in a helpless state. He was a coconut tree climber. He fell off from the coconut tree and he broke his spine and he's a paraplegic. When you first saw him at his home, he was lying on his bed with a very in a helpless state. He didn't have any, he, he, his parents, he lost his parents, was staying in his wife's house and his wife and his parents were taking care of him. As days went by, the burden in the home increased and they couldn't take care of him properly. Meanwhile, his wife was not taking care of him. He had, she kind of uh, left him with her parents and started life with another person. So Ponar was left behind with him, two little boys who didn't have a mother who could take care of him and his grandparents, he didn't have any grandparents to take care of him. So our department, palliative care department, along with the community team, we got together, we mustered help from different places, especially from the government. We could tap uh, resources from the government. We got him, he didn't have any ID proof. We got him an Aadhaar card, we got him a voter's ID. We got him a ration card and a disability card and along with it a disability pension that he receives every month. As days went by, he, he required a wheelchair. So we approached the government and from the government they offered him an electronic wheelchair free of cost and uh, it was because we all worked together as a team, a community team and because of that He's right now being taken care by us in our home, in where uh, now we have a district home in the hospital, and he's being taken care by the hospital, and the boys are also taken care by us. Right now, he goes around in his wheelchair. He is he 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 loves to visit places, and he also loves to start a small kind of a business. So we are hoping and praying that the dream would come true. We are all working together towards that. So this is how we can impact people's lives. People who have lost hope. People who have literally lost everything. And when we see that it is God has given us an opportunity to work, work with them through the palliative care services. So, this is a way in which we show Christ's love to them. And right now, Punar loves the Lord Jesus Christ along with his two boys. And uh, we praise God that he is much better, but still there's a long way to go. So, we, we ask your prayers and support for Punar. Thank you.